Is it the great one? Yeah, he, yeah. he's going under the great one tonight. I don't know about that. You know, I think he's trying to prove a point to, I guess, everybody here that he can make it from losers. You know, even though he didn't lose the match technically, but you know. Did he arrive late? No, he he walked away. You know, he walked away when signups occurred, and he did whatever he had to do. And when he came back, hey, signups were full. Hey, but at least he got in, wow. and he's uh, all the way at loser semi. Yeah, exactly. So you got, you know, you got the great one with Bob. You know, he's taking his cue from Core because he's also a great Bob player. And then you got uh, Bits of the Beast with Dragonoff, one of the top two characters in the game. Oh, Dragonoff is so good, man. But it's really nice to see that both of these players have a wide diversity of characters to be able to pick from to adjust each other. You know what I mean? Exactly. Even if uh, Benzo loses with Dragonoff, he can go to Katarina. If Neo loses with Bob, he has a slew of characters he can play, including Lars and a couple other people. Exactly. But, but you know, looking at the matchup, you got Benzo the Beast. You know, he's more of a Street Fighter kind of player. Uh, and then you got um, you got the Great One, who's more of a Tekken-based kind of player. So he's, so he's definitely got the natural advantage, as you can tell with this nice little combo by Bob. And that is true. And that's why you've seen him made it this far, even off of the loser side with his uh, accidental DQ earlier. <laughs> exactly. You know, he doesn't care. You know, he he's a competitor. He wants to make it through all oh, with that rage. Nope, not going to happen. Well, he won't make it with that rage art. Yeah, exactly. That move came out before he could do his rage art. That's one of the good things about this game, right? You know, if you stick a limb out, that rage art ain't going to happen. This is true, and that is a good thing that they thought about that ahead of time, is right. that Rage Arts can be broken even though they have armor. They're not 100% guaranteed or some magical way of coming back. No, they can still be beat out, and that's really good. Yeah, exactly. How the Great One's doing so good at this so far. I mean, he knows how to utilize this space pretty well. Yeah, but uh, those counter hits from uh, Dragonoff will definitely take some life off of you really quickly. Exactly, it's a lot. Oh, but Bob has that rage art. Here we go. Oh, missed that combo. But Bob with the tricky mids to lows. I mean, time is a factor when playing against this guy because he oh. only gets better with time. And it's done. And the first game will go to the grade one. Yo, that super is ready. Yeah. That super is ready. The oh, Superman punch. punch. Not only that, you know, Bob is a big character, but he's deceptively fast. For any kind of game. You know it's bio, right? Yeah. Yeah, about him being like a skinny guy and losing like the martial arts tournament. He's like, no, man, I need more power. And it got big. And it's just doing its wow. thing. I really like that about the character. That character Fun. does shine through for his bio. Because a lot of, ooh, what, oh, what are, the we, hell's going are on we here? having a button issue? We'll go to stage for that. Hey, a lot of complaining. Come on. Oh, he's going back to character select. So, All right, so I, I hear Bits of the Beast complaining a whole lot right now. I heard something about walls. Yeah, he's complaining about all kinds of stuff here. You know, it's typical Bits of the Beast. He's always complaining. But you Now, know to be fair, we did just talk about how some stages benefit some characters. Oh, yeah. Better than others. Oh, my God. He's going to go to an infinite stage. Oh, he went random. Oh, oh okay. what? You know what? Maybe he just wants a chance at a bigger, at a bigger ring. Who knows? Uh, I guess. I guess. I mean, you can't complain about the wall and then pick random and get another wall. I mean, you might as well pick the snow stage or Azure or something yeah. like that. But to be fair, it's a bigger wall, right? Slightly bigger, bigger wall? Yeah, slightly bigger. Maybe gives gives Katarina a little bit more room to move. I mean, because she does have those long kicks. Yeah. So she can carry you to the wall like that. One. Exactly. Fight. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Bob with them pokes. Watch them toes. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay, well, you can tell that Bob has the bigger movement right now. Great one. Uh-oh. When you whiff that big, you got to expect the punish. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A little bit of a punish right there. Wall carry combo. No. Oh. Oh, missed it. He actually got the juggle off of the counter hit, too, so he could have killed right there. Oh, yeah. Fight. Bob, please stop. Oh. Bob, stop. Bob with the mower head. Oh, my God. 
That's like a Akuma chop. What are you doing? This is a super fast chop. And here we go. Wall carry combo. Get him at the wall. Oh, nice little damage. Oh, my God. That was dominating. I mean, you can't even tech at that point. The buttons are just moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a Texan Bob, all right. Is he oh, pulling the uh, shades of core right now? He's pulling out the core. Just a little bit. He's channeling him a little bit. Oh, great one. Oh, my God. More carry stuff. And it's the fact that Bob's throw starts to juggle. So oh, not yeah. only do you have his normals that start to juggle, but then you have his throw that starts to juggle too. Oh, as it's crazy. And there it was. Two. Oh, pretty quickly. Very, very quickly. Very demanding.